by Shona Murray an annual exercise aimed at showing how to get rid of explosive devices in Iceland. A NATO mission, which is a destruction used in conflicts in the world, is an important part of multinational exercises that support the Ukrainian army. Explosive regulation or EOD usually includes the settlement, identification secure disposal of traditional, chemical biological improvised explosives that are hidden in harmless places designed to lay a trap for soldiers throwing teams for more than 20 years. Northern Challenge has been an annual exercise led by Icelandic Coast Guard. We are trying to give all EOD teams the experience of real-life scenarios that occur in a worldwide educational environment, so that they can learn what these environments are, how to defeat them and the security of their friends. In Iraq or Afghanistan, there would often be very basic homemade things, whereas today we see more traditional ammunition. The threat remains same and the way we treat most of them remains same. The nature of Russia's full-scale Ukrainian invasion means that many soldiers are not professional infantry and women, but regular Ukrainian civilians have to fight for the future of their countries. However, Sean Heaton, a commander responsible program British Royal Navy, said in an interview that lack of facade experience was compensated motivation fighting recruitment. Their lives. Euronews. In the last 12-18 months I trained a lot of Ukrainian. These people are fighting for their lives what they do before. It doesn't matter what they do before. They think differently than us, said. We are preparing for something. They fight for their lives. There is no more acceleration than that of desire and desire learn as quickly as possible for them. Return home and save lives or protect their lives or push Russia back from countries. Meanwhile, NATO defense ministers will meet in Brussels this week and join the newly appointed Ukrainian Defense Minister Rustam Umarov. The consistent weapon supply continues to be fundamental concern for Ukraine, especially after the commitment of continuing support. After being removed from a draft law aimed at closing government in the U.S. Congress,